Today, I'm going to show you how to change this light into a ceiling fan. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY, everyone. I'm Mike. The first thing we need to do is turn off the circuit breaker. Make sure there's no power up here. I recommend you have an electrical tester as well to be sure the power is off. So we found the master bedroom. I'm going to turn this off. So the light turned off when we switched off the circuit breaker. All right, so we need to take our light fixture off. There's, depending on the fixture, there's different ways to take these down. This one has a part that unscrews at the bottom. Usually you can't see any screws, and so there's, there's a trick somewhere, uh, just like in this case, unscrewing a little ball. Careful not to drop our glass. We've got our light bulbs. I'm going to remove these light bulbs just so we don't run into problems as uh, we take this off. Don't want to accidentally break these, especially these ones which contain a little bit of mercury. So I'm finding a couple screws up here. We're going to loosen those enough to get this fixture down. We don't need to take the screws all the way out at this point. Okay, I was able to pry this down a little bit, just get my fingers under it, and now I can slide it up. Oh, look at this. These screws were not the original screws that came with this fixture. Um, Typically, you can just leave the screws in place and undo the entire fixture. However, these screws are too big. So I'll take the screws out. Okay, with the screws out, you want to make sure your electricity is turned off here. So we're going to use a little electrical tester to show that. I don't have it here with me at the moment, but you hold it up, turn it on, and the lights will flash if there's power. I'll include a link to Amazon if you need to pick one of those up. Super handy. Okay, once we have confirmed the power's off, we're going to unscrew these wires, the wire nuts. So we got our black wire, that's our hot wire, our white wire, which is our neutral wire, and the copper wire, which is our grounding wire. Once these are undone, we'll be able to get the whole light fixture down. Okay, with that, we got the wires undone, light fixture comes down. All right, next we're gonna find the mounting bracket. So this is one of the most important parts. There's, uh, we need to be sure this fan is supported properly up on the ceiling. There's multiple ways to secure it. Uh, there's some aftermarket products, like, uh, like this one, which is a ceiling fan with side mount bracket. There's this one that's a ceiling fan with a support um, brace kit. And then this particular box says it includes a surface mount support. So we're going to look for that and figure out what the best one is for this job. All right, the easiest installation is going to be this bracket that was provided that is a surface mount. It goes around the box like so. However, the key with this, you must ensure that both sides of the bracket screw into a stud. So somewhere along here there's a support beam that's running. We're going to try and find it. A couple ways to do that. One, you can knock and try and guess where it is, use a hammer. I've got a stud finder. We're going to try using that to find the locations. Having a textured ceiling is not helping much with the little pads on this thing. Okay, so the stud finder was having quite a bit of trouble here with the texture on the ceiling and I think some of the wood being um, set back a little bit from the ceiling. For example, there's a stud right there and this thing's not picking it up. So, here's another trick I used. I took my screwdriver, came around the edge of this box, again being sure my power is turned off until I found where the wood was. And I can, can, I'm poking around through here, I'm able to find that there's one of the support beams, one of the trusses overhead is running right there. Um, so with that information, I grabbed uh, the support provided and take a look at my holes. And to line up with the stud, it would have to sit like that. 
So that is not ideal with this box location because when I cover it, half of the box over here isn't covered. So I'd have a junction box that's not above the fan. So definitely a problem. We're gonna have to use an old retrofit box. So I'll show you how to do that. Be this one that we're gonna be this one that we're gonna put in place. All right, we're installing a Hunter brand ceiling fan today. Uh, the process and procedure is going to be a little bit different for different fans, but the general uh, concepts will be there. In this one, we've got to remove a set screw, like so. And then we need to work this guy onto our wires. And we got a lot of wires here to work with. Now this is uh, probably got three feet of wire here, which is great if this is hanging a long ways from the ceiling. Since we're not going to be hanging so far down the ceiling, I'm just going to give myself about a foot worth of wire. Plenty to work with. I'm going to cut the rest off. And these guys all get threaded through. This is the little down rod that's going to be hanging from the ceiling. We're going to tighten. Screw this down until it stops. Still going, ever so slightly. Okay, we got it stopped. Okay, I gotta put this set screw back in. And as I put this set screw in, I'm gonna use some pliers to help, or a square head bit. If I can get it started. Now this is an important little screw because it's holding this so that the fan doesn't spin itself off over time, work its way loose. So here we go, let's get this thing tightened in. Alright, I think we about got it. Alright, we're going to put this little decorative canopy cover on. Flip everything through. And that's just going to sit there. Now remember this bracket, this bracket here, the one that uh, because of our positioning of the support beam overhead, we couldn't uh, just screw directly to it. Well, this is still essential because it's going to actually hold the fan like so. It's going to sit there. So we've got to get this thing secured onto our box up in the ceiling. One thing I forgot to do, I need to remove all these brackets here with these screws. Now I want to not lose any of these screws. Okay, so our box is going to go on like so. Hopefully these screws that were provided are long enough for me. This is an important point here, making sure the screws are sufficiently long. If the ones in your box are not long enough, you may have to go buy some extra ones. Alright, so let's, I got some longer screws now. We're going to get this bracket put up in place. All right, got longer screws. I'm putting the bracket in place now. This bracket has some pads that kind of go to the ceiling. Push into the drywall a little bit. I don't want to over tighten it. Entire fan up. We want to be careful. We're not lifting with the wires. Lift from the, the holder up here or from the bottom. Again, being careful of wiring. I know it's in place. It'll be sitting, hanging. All right. So you can see how it's sitting there in the bracket. We got to do some wiring now. Get the wires that we need. First, we're going to 
we're going to connect the ground wires. Now there are three ground wires. We've got one that comes from the mounting bracket right here, green with the yellow stripe. One that comes from the ceiling fan, green with the yellow stripe. And one that comes from the uh, home wiring, that's uh, just a pair of copper wire. So we're going to get the ends of our ground wire all exposed. All right, I've got my three grounds. Putting them into the orange wire nut. I'm going to twist this thing around. Once it feels tight, I'm going to give these a tug and see if they all stay in. All right, they do seem to be staying. So, we got one wire done. We gotta use our wire stripper here. Expose the ends of these wires. Now, from the remote control, this particular fan has a, a remote. Um, we'll be connecting the, and, and this remote, when all is said and done, it's gonna be sitting inside everything, something like this. But until then, I'm gonna keep it out so we can work with stuff. Connecting the yellow and the black wires. The black wire from the fan itself, the yellow wire from the remote control. So we're going to use one of these orange wire nuts. Yellow and black going together. Screw it nice and tight, giving some tugs, everything's staying. Then we connect the blue wire from the fan and the blue wire from the remote control. That one's easy, isn't it? Blue wire from the fan, blue wire from the remote control. Okay, now from the remote receiver, I'm going to connect the black wire to the black wire from the ceiling. Remember, this is our hot wire. This is, um, this is a really easy fluke device for testing for live wires. So I'm going to turn this one on, see it lights up. So if I touch that right now, I'm going to get a shock. So the other wires don't have power on it, but this one, it doesn't even have to touch. Right there, about a centimeter away. So this is a great tool. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not. It's not actually touching the wire in it. Let's you know it's live. So I'm going to go turn that power off again. And with the power off, we know we're okay to touch it. Okay, so I've got the receiver. I'm going to connect the black wire from the receiver to the black wire or the hot wire from the ceiling. And then from the receiver, I'm going to touch, connect the white wire from the receiver, the neutral, the white wire from the fan, and the white wire coming from the uh, house or the ceiling all together. Now anytime you're working with electrical stuff, obviously know what you're doing. Don't electrocute yourself. Make sure you're not going to start fire. Um, follow the local electrical codes. If you're uncertain what you need to be doing, you probably shouldn't be doing it because you don't want to be causing yourself some bigger problems. All right, the wires are all in there securely. Now from the receiver, I still have a remote signal wire that's loose. You can tell that, that doesn't have anything on the end. And we're gonna tuck all these wires up in the box. So I'm getting them all pushed up into the ceiling box. There. Place, and there's two screws, one on each side. Loosely put it in to start. Alright. We'll tighten that down. And now, now that we've got this tightened down, we're going to check our that the fan's functioning before we get much further in case we need to double check any wiring here. Alright, this next step we got to put the fan blades together. This takes a little bit of time. So it's a great one to have a helper take care of while uh, the, everything else is being installed overhead. In this particular fan, we've got some grommets that have to go in. Then on the back 
side, we got to pull them out. Once we have those through, we're going to put this bracket on, line up our holes, and we screw them in place.
we've installed a ceiling fan. It's not too tough, but uh, it does take a little bit of time, some basic tools, and now it's working to keep things cool. Thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. Like the video, uh, subscribe. I will include some links to Amazon where you can pick up some of the parts and pieces, materials that uh, have been used in this video. You can even buy a ceiling fan there. Now the fan we've installed today is a Hunter ceiling fan. I'll include a link on Amazon where you can pick up a fan like this. There's a whole series. These are a great, uh, great style, great brand of fan. So if you do click on one of those links, it is an affiliate link which sends a small commission my way and that goes to help support the mission of Tomahawk DIY to help people in Earth's most dire circumstances build better lives. You can learn more about that in the About Me section. And if you found this helpful, um, feel free to send a tip towards me, Tomahawk DIY, through PayPal or through Venmo. Uh, you'll I'll include some, uh, some directions and links how you can do that kind of thing. Leave a comment, like the video. Have a great day.